Hi, everyone. I'm Lisa Gossels, the Artistic Director of Boston Jewish Film. I hope you enjoyed Valeria is Getting Married and Flora, the fiction short that preceded it. We are honored to have Michal Vinnick, the writer and director of Valeria, with us today, joined by Lena Freifeld, who portrays Christina in the movie. Welcome, Michal and Lena. Hi, Hi. thank you for having us. <laughs> yes. We're so thrilled you're here. We're honored to be here. Thank you. So we wish you were with us um, in person at the Museum of Fine Arts Boston. And Lena, you almost were, but for the great news that Valeria is getting married is having its national theatrical release, mm -hmm. supposedly in Israel today. Um, uh -huh. so we wish you all success with that release. Thank you. Thank you so much. Um, I wanna congratulate you on all the recognition and awards that Valeria <laughs> has received, including 14 Ophir nominations, and Michal, your Ophir for Best Screenplay, um, this is your second full-length film. Your first film, Barash, was in over 90 film festivals worldwide. Your short films, Bayit and Srak, premiered at Lucarno and Sundance, winning prizes in Israel and around the world. It's clear that you know how, with your film and television projects, to tap into stories and themes that are universal and resonate. Mm -hmm. Lena, you were born in Ukraine when the separation between Russia and Ukraine was less geographically clear. Your family moved to Israel when you were three years old. I'm amazed that you're a professional dancer and only at the age of 28 did you enroll in acting school mm -hmm. because now you're in two of the seven full length films we're showing in our Israeli film festival. This film, of course, and also Idan Chagwell's Concerned Citizen. Um, what a beautiful beginning to your acting career. Yeah. Yes, definitely. <laughs> <laughs> um, I can't wait to talk to the two of you together. Michal, I wanted to start with you to say that I appreciated that this film at heart is about power dynamics and love relationships. Um, as an American, I appreciated how your film gave me a sense of an Israel I didn't necessarily know. Um, a bit on the periphery, not a neighborhood maybe where many tourists go, that you gave us a sense as viewers of what for some the Russian and the Ukrainian immigrant experience might be like, but your film is also very universal. And what moved me so much, and of course, Lena, you're a part of all of this, is that it was a story and the performances and the raw emotion and how naturalistic the film feels and what was both spoken and unspoken, what's in dialogue and, and in between all that. Um, I wanna save the best for you. So Michal, let's start with you. Um, and your inspiration for this film, where did this story come from? Why did you have to tell this story? First of all, uh, thank you for all the compliments and also uh, thank you for having us here. Um, the beginning of the story is, uh, it started with a character of a woman, a Ukrainian woman cleaning houses. And then I came across the subject of these agreements, the marriage um, which is actually, it, it's not an Israeli thing. It happens in Germany, in England, in the U.S. also. Uh, not always Ukrainian, right? Sometimes from the Philippines, it's, uh, <laughs> it diverses. And I thought that this kind of arrangement could serve as a mirror to uh, other relationships between people or between men and women um, that have a financial financial. Uh, difference and, and so that was the beginning of it all yeah yeah and so you chose it wasn't just men and women and these power dynamics or expectations of roles but it was also you chose Israeli Jewish and Ukrainian Christian so you just you actually put more layers into that that was only peeling the characters but the basic thing I think in this situation is a gap uh, mm -hmm. which always exists. And the idea of an independent, financially independent woman is very new. I mean, it's a very, very modern thing. Uh, I mean, I know uh, grandmothers uh, that, or mothers also, uh, that, uh, for example, did not uh, have a divorce, get a divorce, uh, because they didn't have the financial opportunity to be independent. And so I'm not really sure that this film is only about Ukrainian brides. I mean, if I hope that people can be brave enough to look and see different themes in that. 
I think that's its power. And actually, why don't we take that to Lena? Because I completely agree. Lena, in your portrayal of Christina, you spoke multitudes. I feel like in many ways, you were part of the emotional core of the film. Um, and, you know, we really are pulling for you through the end, that ending, Michal and Lena is transcendent for me, that possibility and hope of, you know, Christina finding her power and her voice and her freedom and, and breaking out. Um, but tell us what you brought to this role. Um, and then I wanna know how you found each other. But Lena, what did you um, bring to this role? Like, how did you connect to Christina and make her your, yours? I think um, when reading uh, the script and working with Michal, uh, something inside felt really connected. And I really, I see myself as a powerful, independent woman, uh, someone who's following her dreams, but something inside, something also with the, how I saw my parents and a lot of uh, core relationship, a lot of relationships um, from my family um, that is like settling with something that is uh, familiar to us. Uh, you, you're getting married and you have children and then you go on. And um, I think for Christine, I really wanted, and for Lena, to really um, find and have the power to really, truly be happy. Uh, we deserve it. And we, and sometimes we don't see it. Uh, we like go with the flow and what, with life. And suddenly when my sister comes, Valer um, Valeria, and she gives this mirror to how the life really looks like and then getting this power to go and do something for yourself, uh, for, for a better life, out of the circumstances that you were um, born to. And um, actually, I didn't give to Christina. Christina gave to me uh, the inspiration and the power. And I'm, I'm thankful uh, for this gift. Michal, thank you. <laughs> yeah. That's so beautiful. Um, Michal, do you have a, 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 a response to that? Um, I thought it was interesting that Valeria left her, she had a love back home actually, and she was partly coming for her sister. So I appreciate what you just said, um, Lena, about this, her sister being a mirror in the, in the film. For me, Lena just came and did her magic. It's very simple. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, I think I don't know sometimes uh, you choose roles and sometimes roles choose you so I had this strong collection from the beginning that then uh, she actually came to uh, to audition for Valeria <laughs> and then uh, immediately we moved her to uh, to Christina and I saw her uh, creating the character and it was uh, fascinating can you share more? I mean, I know that this film was written before the Russian invasion of Ukraine, but that there's somehow something really powerful that it's a co-production and that we have Ukrainians in the film. Um, also, you feel, your story unfolds, which I really appreciated over the course of one day. Um, I just wanna say that for action and a, like a narrative structure is really cool and works so well, as did the rain, the pouring rain, reinforcing the high drama. But do you wanna talk a little bit about how everybody came into their roles, how, the writing of the script and how you work with the actors and how the actors work together? Yeah, part of the work was influenced by Corona COVID, uh, but before that, uh, we worked just the normal way, the regular way. We casted Lena and the two guys, uh, Yaakov Daniel Zada and Abraham Shalom Levy. And then uh, I was supposed to fly to the Ukraine, to Kiev, to cast, to search for a sister. Uh, and uh, COVID uh, started. So uh, we decided to cast to Zoom. It, was, uh, very, it wasn't that popular <laughs> back then. <laughs> Yeah, and, and we managed to find Dasha Tvoronovich, which which is an actress from Kiev, and I fell in love with her through Zoom, and it was great. Uh, but then the borders closed, so we w we weren't able to bring her to Israel. <laughs> so the film basically was uh, doing the pre-production three times because each time we managed to somehow get her, and then again they closed. The it was complicated. 
Wow. Wow. Is there more that you want to talk about in terms of how you cast a film and how all the actors, how you all work together? Like, was there any change from the script to what we see on screen? Because what's so interesting, and I was saying that to Lena the other day also, so much happens in between the dialogue, you know? So there's so much that we feel that's not scripted in terms of dialogue. And I'm just curious if that changed as you were working through the rehearsals. Um, actually not sure. Um, the script is, is not very far from what it was. I mean, the transcript, what you see on screen is not very far. The ending was different. But I don't think, I mean, the ending was that Valeria is staying mm -hmm. here with her husband. Did you know that? <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh, in crap. terms of dialogue and action, I mean, I'm always trying to direct the things that people do and not the things that people say. So that's a, that's a thing about directing that I'm interested in because the subtext is really interesting. Uh, especially between uh, people that don't come from the same place, even you and me, for example. I mean, I'm trying to be as American as I can now, but that's my <laughs> limit. <laughs> and, um, so, but I think people, when they want to uh, to connect, they do. And so, Christina and her husband desperately want to connect uh, each for each character from their own place. Uh, one needs desperately some woman to love him and the other needs a home or um, a feeling that she she's safe, maybe. Um, mm -hmm. So that's, that, that was the, the things that were moving, that, that were, that I used because uh, words are just words when speaking, you know, just say words. If you don't have an action, uh, it's not real, it's just words and information. I love that. Lena? Um, I remember us talking a lot in the process of the, um, like where the characters are coming from and how, uh, what's their perspective on life. Uh, because if, uh, for example, um, Valeria doesn't uh, understand the thing of arrangement and she, she wants to fight it, Christina is she understands it and, and it's not that someone's forcing her. She's really choosing it and loving it. And I think the relationship with Michael, they have a good life. Um, I, you general. feel that, yeah. Yes, because, you know, when you don't know something else and you, um, I thought uh, if I'm blaming Michael for um, like for the situation and then I thought I'm blaming myself in a way because uh, I was holding on, I was being uh, efficient and uh, like this, I could have like maybe been stronger or I, I don't know, like now that I'm saying it, I'm a bit like, um, you, you should never blame yourself. But, um, but you know, this is you how... Know, Lena, you remember when you auditioned for the role and we were matching it with Yako? I yeah. asked uh, Lena to say to do that after every sentence, just to say amen, and uh, it worked <laughs> very well because she became some kind of a I don't know. It's a servant is a hard word. Yeah, but, pleaser, uh, pleaser. Yeah. yeah. Um, and I wish. I I just think it's like it's something that we like we we behave, and then it it sometimes like it grows like a monster that you like, you become this like small and like um, obeying and uh, and then like something comes and like wakes you up. And so we were talking about like uh, how, where we came from in order like to, to really like justify the world or is it the correct word? Um, I wish we had time for a longer conversation right now. This is so hard to, to bring things to a conclusion. But what I want to say is um, I also I've seen the film twice and I love the ending. And I'm so glad you created that new ending that we have a sense of hope and empowerment. Um, I feel like, yeah, Lara Valeria coming did show, reminded you, Christina, in your role, Christina, um, of what else was there. You know, there were so many key turning points in the, the script that did that. 
And I really appreciated that you said everybody's seeking connection. You know, you come back to all the universal things that I think is what resonates so much in the film. Um, any last thoughts? I feel so bad that we have to end now. Uh, yes, let's, the last thought. Uh, I wish we could be with you there, mm -hmm. the screening. <laughs> yeah. As do we. Thank you so much for your time this afternoon. And um, hopefully you'll make more films or we'll have reasons to bring you both to Boston. Um, so on behalf of Boston Jewish Film and the Boston Israeli Film Festival, thank you for being with us. Thank, thank you so much for having us. Thank you.